Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. It's that boy G Plans. Don't give a damn. He cooler than the fan. Walking real tall, some say he's man. Yeah. No, man, I wanna I wanna I wanna switch it up to another record. Okay. You know, talking about family. Uh-huh. Um, little one to Tim. Wow. Um, do it for do you. Do it for you, you man. Know what I'm That's one of my personal favorites. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Do I it for you. I ain't about to embarrass myself. Me yeah. Hook, you know what I'm saying? Do it for you. You yeah. know I do. Yeah. yeah. yeah you know, do it for you. Yeah, that was hard, right? Brothers, like, you know, and your, your wife, she's behind me, you know, and I, and I talked to my girl, but we yeah. on this mission. We got stuff we trying to do, but we doing it for you. Yeah. You know? Absolutely. But I, I want, how did that record come about? Because I think that record, I think. I don't know. Somebody should put more money behind that record. I think it should have did way, should have went way higher than what it is yeah. right now. Cause it's a great record. It's dope. It's still a great record. Yeah, it's still hard. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, um, how did that come about? You and Lil want to chill? Uh, I was chilling. I was working. Uh, I was doing turnaround job. It be trying to get that bread up. Yeah. Um, and Lil one was in the studio, and my partner. Shout out to Bull Beezy, hey, Chef Beezy now. Uh, I got to, I got to do this. I got to plug this. Uh, I think it's 1406 Willow, man. Y'all go check that out right now, bro. Uh, Chef B's, man. One of the hottest chefs in Lafayette, man. I swear to God, man. And that's the bro. And we was working together. He did music too, but I, like I said, I always told him, you know, uh, his God-given, uh, gift is, uh, cooking, bro. But he has a way with these with the music, man. Great producer. I think he'd be a great producer, you know what I'm saying? But, <clears throat> yeah, I was with him and uh, his cousin Bull. And Bull called me up and called me. over so there like, man, ain't a little one in the champ, a little one in the champ in the studio right now. Man, you got to bring Chris through. You got to, you know what I'm saying? Because he, little one say he was looking for me. Like, he went to Lafayette. A couple of times looking for me, trying to get me on the record. Shout out to Lil One the Chat, man. That's my motherfucking dog, man. Yeah. BR find one of the illest. And if they don't, if he don't do something, if something don't happen, they fucking crazy, yeah. man. This yeah, nigga man. is. Yeah, he's sick with come on, him. man. Oh. But um, he had called me, and they was like, man, come through. And the label I was with at that time, it was like, man. He, you shouldn't do that shit, nah, 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 till, you know what I'm saying? Wildin', but I was like, fuck that, man. I got to, you know what I'm saying? I got to make these moves. I got to, you know what I'm saying, do that. Mm -hmm. uh, so I went, and he was going through beats. Going through beats. And I was like, bro, what? You know what I'm saying? What was that? What's that? He was like, man, you know how long I done had this beat? I was like, man, that bit cold. That bit raw, bro. Let me, let me fuck with it. And, bro, I say about... Five, ten minutes, man. Hook was done. You know what I'm saying? And, and that bitch was, it yeah. was gold. And, bro, I, like I said, a lot of these, a lot of the records that I do, bro, I had no idea that they would do what they did yeah. and have the impact that they did. And like I said, man, um, yeah, it has a lot to do with marketing and, you know what I'm saying, the right push. But sometimes it just don't, it just don't work. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Because in this industry, bro, um, it you get you get your shots sometimes and sometimes you don't. Sometimes you gotta really put the bag behind a record. I don't yeah. give a fuck how good it is. For sure. You know what I'm saying? And you got to have yeah. you know what I'm saying, that bag. But it don't always take that. It just takes more work at it. And sometimes you just don't put in as much as you think that you did. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And and I've I've learned that a lot, you know. Um, it's not just working a record for six months or working a record for a year or, you know what I'm saying, just posting it every now and then or just post the concert, bro. It takes work yeah, and you work. got to put it in, man. Like he said it take about 250. I'm telling you, bro. Yeah. Out. And that's, I'm talking about, and that's worldwide. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. all over the world. Yeah. 250 racks, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Record. One record. Yeah. But that's the label believing in it. That's that's your label believing in it. That's, you know, radio stations believing in it. That's you making people believe in this record, you know what I'm saying? And that's what it takes in. And people don't get it, bro. It's it's a journey. Yeah. And if you ain't built for it, if you ain't ready, then it's going to tap you the fuck out. Yeah. I promise you. You you right. You right. Let's let's move forward. Make it love. Wow. Um, Mr. Kane, shout to Mr. Kane. Mr. That Mr. Was, Kane that, through. That was a that was another feature, a, a great record. And he wrote that too. I tweaked it. 
He sent it to me. Okay. You know what I'm saying? He wrote it. I just tweaked that bitch. I made it sound like that. He gave me the lyrics. I just tweaked that bitch. I just made it like a Chris Michaels record, you yeah, know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But he sent the lyrics, shout out. I don't know if people know that or understand that, but he wrote the uh, lyrics. I tweaked it a little bit, probably a few things that I changed, but yeah, he definitely uh, did his thing. And when Mr. came home, Mr. guess how I got that one? Off the Do It For You. He heard the Do It For You and he's like, man, I want that nigga who sung that Do It For You. I need that nigga right there. So I got the call. He was like, bro, listen, I'm finna send this to you tonight. I gotta go to Atlanta somewhere, but he was gonna record. He said, man, look, I'ma send this to you, lace that bitch, and then send it to me, bro. And I laced that hoe that night. I sent it to him, bro, and that bitch just, you know what I'm saying? But um, I think the original record, I don't know if they couldn't get it cleared or not, but they had to change it at the last minute. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what producer? Uh, Damn, I think it was a legendary producer out of N.O. Joe. Remade the record. N.O. Joe. Shout out to N.O. Joe because that bitch was hard too. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, as far as, I don't know as far as why I didn't. You know what I'm saying? But that was a huge, huge record for. Yeah, it was great. Yeah, yeah it was. It was, was a, that your biggest feature, you think? Uh, yeah, at the, at, at, at the time. Yeah. And, and then with Starlito. Yeah. When Starlito hopped on. Uh, a record that I was doing and, and Mr. came through um, and uh, he got the record, you know what I'm saying? Let him do, let, gave him the record and it was crazy. Um, and Starlito hopped on that record. Man, that's, I did a lot of records, so I'm trying to uh, remember that. Yeah, it was uh, yeah, you did some records. Damn. It'll come to me. Yeah, it would. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, but it was uh, it was crazy though. I enjoyed that record, bro. It was a fun time. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I got into some dope places with that record. Uh, it put me in front of some uh, dope people with that record. And a shout out to Mr. for uh, choosing to fuck with me on that, bro. Like I said, man, Baton Rouge really showed me a lot of love. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of niggas out there that showed me love, bro. And I really appreciate it because I'm not from here for, for a person that is not from this region. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and ain't grow up here. Yeah. For the love that I'm getting, it's, uh, it's highly appreciated, man. It's truly a blessing. Lafayette, Baton Rouge, Louisiana, period, man. Yeah. I got to give a shout-out to them guys, bro.